All right, in this next topic, uh, Giga Berlin is now ramping up to 5,000 units a week. And this is good because it gives us insight on how quickly potentially maybe Giga Austin could ramp up and which is good for everybody that's waiting for their Tesla Model Y, unless of course the tax credit disappears. So we'll take a look at it, just some other Tesla news that's going out there. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best year on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested in. So let us take a look at this. Shout out to Tasmanian. Tesla Giga Berlin reaches production capacity of 5,000 Model Ys per week. This was, of course, after they shortly hit 4,000 Model Ys per week. And so that's a lot of Teslas. I mean, what is that? Like 5,000 per times four weeks in a month. That's 20,000 in a month times basically three. That's 60,000 Tesla Model Ys in a quarter. And so what we do know is that Giga Austin is supposed to all, you know, hit that type of number as well, maybe even 75,000 in the first, uh, first quarter or so. And so this is some good stuff. This was a like cool video that uh, Sorry Merit also posted on Giga Berlin, including like the time-lapse footage of the Teslas being built and uh, pretty cool stuff to see like the behind the scenes of a Model Y actually getting built. So, I mean, this is good to see Giga Austin. I mean, we, we see headlines, of course, all the time of the Model Y beating record sales and selling even more and more vehicles in Europe and also, of course, America. And so this is good because maybe Tesla, Giga Austin and the production for all Tesla vehicles will ramp up at a much quicker speed. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. We're going to jump back into the uh, 